Hi, hey there everybody. Uh, today is Wednesday, the, four, the 20th day of March 2024. And I'm down here on Winnie Street or Winnie Avenue in Galveston. Doing another video and you can see this house here. Got the double porches on it. Up here at the top, got that neat little window on it. And uh, the address on it is 1721 since people seem to want to know that kind of stuff. Yeah, see this little dog on the fence here. They got two of them actually. And so, not a bad little place. And then it's the neighbor here. You can see it also has double porches. And uh, there's some, some shutters around the windows and things. Kind of a low porch. It does have some nice trim work, you know, around all this area right here. And up at the top, of course, up there as well. And uh, it's 1719. It looks like it has a gas light right there and it looks like there's one up there on the wall so kind of a neat feature all right so let's keep going okay, the very next house right here is a 1717 you see it's got a nice staircase right there got a really nice wooden door and it's got two floors there two porches so i'll go ahead and zoom in on the door here and show that to you and if you look up at the very top, there's uh, a little bit of decoration up there. So that's kind of neat. And then under here, you can see it's a place where you can sit with those archways right there. So hopefully you like this one. Here our next house, which these are all falling right in a row. First of all, I like the flowers right there. Very nice, springy. But you can see the house here better now. Up here at the top, it's got all these, these fish scales here that I like. Got a nice trim work around the windows, the tops. You can see on all four of those. Got brick steps. It has a little brick wall here. Take you back that away, show you that. All the way there. And here's the whole thing right there. So hopefully you like this one. And I just want to point out the detail all along here too. Looks really nice. So hopefully you like this one. Okay, right here's our next house. I'm not crazy with the color of it, I can't lie. But it does have two nice porches. And right here, I want to show you this. Here's the way that you enter. So, got a nice white picket fence. This nice little arbor here. And then the steps are looking pretty good. Oh, and it's got the 1900 Survivor thing right there on it. And this one's 1711. Got some of these neat flowers here. Hopefully you like those. So, I like the white on it for sure. And it looks nice that way. Alright, so I gotta tell you, every house on this block is really, really nice. Because literally I'm shooting every house in a row. I'm not skipping any of these. This one's like at the single porch, you can see. And it's not a very white house. It is a tall house. And got some nice shutters. Got some good stairs right there. See a little picket fence. Pretty good looking place overall, I would say. But what really points out is this trim work right here. They've done a really good job with that. So I like that one. This one's 1709. I'll try to zoom in on this sign for you here. And you can pause that and read all that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. A Wilkins Miller Cottage, it says. So there's a back out. Get a little bit look at it. It needs some some paint and stuff. Definitely needs a little bit of work. It too, like that other one, has this little gateway and arbor right here, and you can see the whole house this way. So I wanted to show that to you. They let it the bushes and stuff kind of get unkempt and all of that. So this 1707. It does have some nice trim work all along there. So I do like the trim work on it. But the collar, you know, it's not my favorite. And it, it definitely needs repainted. But it says up there, built 1895. So this thing definitely was pre-flood. So they got the, the little symbol up there too. Okay, this very next house. Before I move off to the front here, I want you to look at this right here. That dormer up there pointing off to the side. That is certainly different. And you see right here from the front, we've got this dormer up here as well. This one's got the lower area that you can set on so you can use that as a porch 
but that's the real porch up there this one looks like also it was a Hegelman cottage 1895 it says over there this one's 1701 so we're at the corner it's got a nice white picket fence all the way around this front yard here you can see all that looks very good and it's a, it's a pretty house the blue and the white really works together I like it got a little bit of nice trim work in, in there so got a nice great big bay window there too so that's very nice so even up here at the top look at that little arched window up there and of course those are arched in that dorm white uh, dormer up there too that's very nice okay so I've come across the street now to the next block and look back here in the back it's a nice little side porch back there so that looks really good it's a big tall square house she does have two porches on her so that's very very nice right here got a little arbor gate and it looks like it is 1621 right there on the gate you can see and it is a 1900 survivor that plaque right there okay and look at the color of the of the porch and then they've done the same thing to the gate here with that color that's nice around the door frames everything top and bottom uh, so I don't know if this is a business or what it is but whatever it is it looks good to me and it's good and clean so hopefully you really like this one okay I've skipped one place to come down to this one at 1615 and first of all you see I mean this is a mammoth house it's got porches on the very back back there it's got these two porches obviously on the front which as you know is my thing it's got some fish scales and other types up there at the top got red around the windows of course it's got the yellow it's got the gray again gray is never my personal favorite I would never personally pick gray for a house or anything else and I would uh, I would paint it if it were mine but you know that's my taste not not the owner so that's okay but it's it's a good looking little house and I say little because it's a giant. But hopefully you like this one along with this yellow painted fence. Alright, so I've skipped a, another one to come to this one. You see it's got yellow too. It's got some nice details up around these windows here. So I like that. It's got the white picket fence running through here. It's got the storm survivor plaque up yonder. Next to the door got the single porch it's got a nice dormer window up there at the top I like the overall scheme color scheme of this thing and see if you got the area underneath you can set there as well so once again another winner right here so I hope you like this one okay, and this one this is the neighbor to the one I just shot and you see it's a big one too they've got the fish scales back in here and run along this side up there at the very top in there up above this porch right here it's got a nice wide staircase got this palm tree right here and it's got nice spindle work all around through there and you see up there at the very top that's really really nice a lot of details but it's got the wraparound porch so Take you around through here and you can see. Isn't that nice? You know, I love porches and I love wraparound porches even more. And yeah, there. Right there, I got the whole house for you. So, hopefully you enjoy this one. Alright, this one here is a storm survivor. You see that plaque right there. It's got double porches. It definitely needs some work. It's got rust and things up here does have a nice door though I'll zoom in on this door and show you that for a couple seconds so that's about all I can say about this one all right, this is a great big house and I can't get back too far you see all the little details of the people they painted there very tall house two porches of course you know my thing pretty decent staircase a little section to set up underneath here shutters and things got a blue door so overall not bad all right with this one I wanted to show you the side first look how long this place is 
Man, this is huge. This is 1427. And it's got two big porches here, you can see. But the length of the house is a real story. And here you go. On March 2nd, 1836, Texas declared her independence from Mexico while Comanches roamed the plains, rangers to protect the frontier settlements. And this building was not here yet. <laughs> okay, well, it's enough to get my attention and get a good little laugh. So anyway, look here on the sidewalk. They've got they got bricks laid out here. It goes inside the fence and goes down to the street. There's some missing here behind me you can see but step here in the street a little bit and show you this one these palm trees all the way up it's not a ton of detail in this one in the color scheme I'd like to see a little brighter yellow honestly for my own self but overall still a pretty nice house and yeah. oh by the way yeah here yeah. I will go and I will show you these doors up close and personal right here because that is a nice feature of this house so hopefully you like those too here's the neighbor to the one I just shot see it's also yellow using green around the uh, window frames and stuff kind of area down at the bottom it's just grass you can still sit there but you know better if it's paved but it's got one porch it's got a wide wide staircase it is for lease, right there is a sign to it, if you want to see that. And it says up there on this side of the door, circa 1874. And it's definitely got the plaque right there for the 1900 Survivor. This is 1421. You know, so it could use a little bit of love, no doubt. It's got two nice dormers at the top. And uh, just because of its age, I have to capture it and bring it to you. Hope you like it. Okay, so capture this little house here. It's 1415. Got a little porch, very cute little cottage. Got the uh, fish scales up there. Got this nice palm tree here. Yeah, it's just a nice little setting. So I like how cute and how quaint it is. Hopefully you do too. All right, and here's, uh, I skipped one to come to this one. And you see up here, it's got some colored fish scales up there got this uh, red and black treatment down here at the bottom and then the blue of course and the shutters the house put the red on the door got, got a single porch of course but it too is a cute little place I like it we got nice landscaping here as I back up and show you this one's 1407 pretty nice little place hey, this house I'm going to shoot because it's a survivor you see they got the sign on the door right there other than that, but these two little porches, but boy, it, it's it's in pretty, pretty rough shape. I gotta tell you, right there's the rest of the house there. But there's not much to recommend this one, I have to say. Right next door to it, and very tight. You can see the space in between those houses. This has got some fish scales in these places. Up at the very top, got the fish scales. And now, you see the stairways there, and it does have the neat little arch window up there at the top. So, not a bad looking house, and it's got the white pickup fence too. Okay, for our next house, I want you to look up in this window right here. I'm going to try to zoom in there a couple of seconds. There's a cat there, and he's been watching me for the last two houses. <laughs> he's watching himself now, so I guess he's gotten bored. But you see there's some fish scales in different places all the way at the top there's fish scales it's got just a very very tiny porch got a little setting there here so this has definitely got to be two places see because there's a door there and then a door right above it so i'm sure this is a, a rental oh yeah right there shows you two mailboxes but it does have some nice detail on the bottom of that door there i'll zoom in and show that and that's about all there is to this one other than that window up there at the top i like those arch windows too and right next door look at the color of this one if this doesn't scream beach then i don't know what does got a nice great big palm tree all the way up there this one is 1315 
it's just got a half porch basically so it's not a big one but they've they've certainly detailed this one out with some paint and things you can see so that's very nice and here's a step back get you the picket fence and the whole house so there you can see the whole thing hopefully you like this one that has been my standard fare and saying this one's right next door again so you see these things uh they've got a lot of nice ones on these streets really blows my mind how many of these things they've got it is a 1900 hurricane survivor yeah i got it right between those framed and uh nice lights up there got some nice doors with the orange windows you can see it's 1311 i'll zoom in on that got some nice details all along there and on the inside too both sides if you look you've got these brick things here to frame the stairs with so that's pretty nice let me back up a hair more and yeah that's pretty much the whole thing right there you can even do it like that and that's definitely the whole thing hopefully it's good here's a big one to capture well two porches nice brickwork and it's got the gas if you look up here at the top you know by the not the top but by the doors got the gas lanterns and there's one on that side there too nice porches got these big horse heads right here on the gate so that's nice mailbox right there as I back up there you go now you got the whole thing pretty pretty nice I like it all right this house here I don't have a ton to recommend it it has this really nice fountain take a listen to this for a couple seconds definitely brings you some peace and got the little fridges around it it does have the one nice porch there but it is a single porch you can see the top there's a nice little window up at the very top this one's 1221 and they got the wrought iron right here to kind of pull it all together actually so for that i kind of like it i hope you do too so i'm skipping one and we're capturing this one see it's got really nice porch upstairs there's one back over there it's back through there quite a way so this here is another long house very tall house i like the color scheme it's got these really nice flowers and nice white picket fence and everything and guess what you can have this one if you want it before i go on with the house let me show you natasha nord guard right there's the information so if you decide that this is the place for you well there it is. Back up the street a little. Capture the whole thing. And that's definitely it right there. As you can see, it's got a nice transom over the bottom door down here. It's got double doors up there at the top. And uh, yeah, so overall, I would say they, they did a really nice job with this place. And let me repeat right next door, <laughs> you have this house. But here, first of all, check out the sidewalk runs all the way through the front of this house here got the wrought iron gates and then here's the house itself it is a survivor you can see there are three plaques right up here on this side of the door the bottom one is the 1900 survivor the other two I'm sure some, something about the history you know maybe when it was built I'm not sure but anyway it's got really nice detail all along there I like that the sidewalk runs in past the gate to the porch you can see it's got the two great big I'm not sure if you'd call those dormers up there being a square but we're gonna call them that whether I'm right or wrong on that I don't know but pretty good looking place and then a thing to take note of is here is a sign this is the Menard Ganter house uh, so I'll zoom in on that and you can take a look at that but it'll tell you this house was built in 1882 so 18 years before the storm came so there you go beautiful little place 